Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and thank you again for joining me for another cleaning motivational. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tasha and I like to put out a cleaning video once a week. This video is going to include my downstairs, my living room, my kitchen, and my dining room. I want to get this whole downstairs space cleaned up and ready for the Christmas week in preparation for Christmas Eve and Christmas with my family. It is just going to be me and my husband and my daughter this year for Christmas because of COVID. I would like to know what you guys had planned and if you guys are getting to spend time with any of your family outside of your um, immediate family. So let me know in the comments down below. I'm going to go ahead and take you guys along for some Christmas gift wrapping as well. I always wait last minute for this and it always tends to get done really quickly if I just get everything done all in one quick session. We didn't go overboard this year so I don't have that many gifts to wrap but I'll have that included in this video as well. If you like these kind of videos please give it a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't yet and remember to hit that bell notification so you don't miss any future uploads. Let's go ahead and jump into this and get the cleaning part started. I had gotten grocery shopping that morning at the commissary and I don't bring a person with me when I go places anymore. So I had my ID and my credit card in my back pocket and I completely forgot it was back there. So the whole time I'm cleaning in here, it's like barely hanging on for its dear life in my back pocket. My husband would tell me, I was like, hey, you have something hanging out of your pocket. I was surprised it didn't fall out at any point. Like it stayed so nicely right there, but that's what you're saying in my back pocket. It's just my ID. Let's go outside 
out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times, we'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Okay, so I want to go ahead and give you guys some updates on my shoulder and some new news that I just found out on this previous Monday. I recently, for those that don't know, I had a cyst lanced and drained on my, my right shoulder and I'm on week four of the process of it healing. It's still not fully healed, but they did let me know when I went in for that appointment that it was a high possibility that my cyst would refill and come back and keep an eye out for it. So on Friday, after I got out of the shower, I kind of noticed a little bit of a lump on my shoulder. So I felt around and realized my cyst was back. So I went ahead and called my doctor on Monday and they're scheduling me an appointment for a week or two out. They don't have any availabilities for another two weeks, but they're going to try and get me in next week um, if there's any cancellations. So what's going to happen is they're going to recut me. They're going to remove all the cysts completely and then I will have stitches and they inform me that I will have two days after um, the procedure, I will be in zero mobility, like trying my best not to move my shoulder, keep it, everything is still as possible and don't sleep on it, nothing like that. And then after those first two days, I start a 12 day process of no lifting over 10 pounds and keep things in light movement. So I'm probably going to be down and not making videos. We will see. I really want to continue making videos and continue putting stuff out for you guys, but I want to try and get this healing process done as quickly as possible because I'm already four weeks in on the first um, appointment that we did, the first procedure. And I'm seriously just so over this process at this point. I want to be healed and back to normal and just not have to worry about my shoulder anymore. So I'm going to try and keep really good care of it, try to heal as quickly as possible with the safest way possible. So if I don't post, 
go check out my community posts. I usually update you guys there and let you know why I'm not posting, how things are going, or if anything's changing in my, my life or my routine, I usually post in the community post or on Instagram. So definitely check out those two spots if you're wondering where I am. And let's go ahead and get back into this cleaning. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. That's why I want to sing about the Christmas on its way. A reason to hang around and celebrate this day. Everyone's and it's snowing, it's the time of year again I'm happier here, my winter wonderland I'm walking around making small talk with people that pass me by I share a laugh, it gives me joy That everyone's having a good, good time I hear those jingle bells, people singing about love I'm a kid, like I'm forever young And that's why I want to sing about The Christmas on its way A reason to hang around And celebrate this day Everyone's smiling And it's snowing It's the time of year again I'm happy you're here My winter wonderland No It's the time of year, winter wonderland My winter wonderland It's the time of year, my winter wonderland My winter wonderland I want to sing about the Christmas on its way A reason to hang around and celebrate this day Everyone's smiling and it's snowing It's the time of year again go outside the snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun the snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine we're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir performing all the christmas songs that we love yeah all the christmas songs that we love and then while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you Making plans for what we're gonna do I feel so blessed that I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya I just wanna hold you close You know the stars are shining just for you Let's take a walk and we can follow the moonlight Till we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you Chocolate by the fire 
Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy Love and It's a beautiful kissing on a mistletoe Baby, with you, with you with I don't you. need any presents As long as I spend this day with you I feel like those with pets, especially like a dog like mine, I have a German Shepherd who sheds a lot, can relate to this. Every single weekend I have to peel the hair that collects on these no scuff um, pads under the chairs. Look how much hair that is. That is insane to me. And I do this every single weekend. And I, every single time blows my mind. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. I've longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin out of nowhere, just us and no one else. I've decorated everything till we perfect for this week. Tomorrow. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. I longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin out of nowhere, just us and no one. So this year we kept it pretty simple. We did all online shopping and we did Amazon and Target. I didn't go way overboard on a bunch of like tons of gifts for Tennyson because we also are going to be transforming her room into a bigger room and she doesn't know it yet but I already got her bed in and her new blankets and sheets and all that fun stuff so I didn't go completely overboard but I did splurge a little and get her a big kitchen um, as her big present this year so I'm gonna go ahead and lay everything out on the bed make sure I have it all up here and then I thought I'd go ahead and walk you guys through what I did get for Tennyson what others got for her and then what I also picked up for my husband Okay, so before I wrap everything, I kind of thought that I was just going to walk you through what I got Tennyson for Christmas and my husband and some of the things I'm going to be wrapping that I didn't personally purchase, but we had family members purchase us. In our home, something that was kind of taught to me through my childhood, uh, my mother would always, every holiday or like Christmas time or our birthdays, we would get one large gift and then like little tiny gifts after that. So that's kind of what I did with Tennyson this year was we purchased her a big old kitchen just over here. Um, just one of those play kitchens that toddlers usually have. I've been wanting to get her one for a while. Our last house just wasn't big enough for it. This one, I actually have space for it in her play area. So I went ahead and picked her up a kitchen. I'm not gonna be wrapping that today. We're gonna take it out of the box on Christmas Eve after she goes to bed and already have it put up for her. So that's one of the things I'm gonna be doing. So with the little kitchen, I went ahead and picked her up this really cute set. I'm not going to undo it because I don't want to undo all the wrapping, but it's from Bat Tat. And it's just all these little like vegetables and stuff that you can cut in half. And they're like, I think they're magnetic and they go back together. I think it's really cute. And then I also picked her up the grocery cans, which is just like the canned foods. And that's from Melissa and Doug. And then to go along with like, the cleaning and the cooking in the kitchen and stuff, I found 
this super stinking adorable Black & Decker Duster Buster. It makes the noises and there's beads in it that like go around as if you're picking up dust. And she's gonna love it because we had a friend back home. Um, we stayed with them before we moved to Utah and she had a Black & Decker um, Duster Buster and it looks just like this. And Tennyson loved cleaning their house with it. So I'm really glad I got this for her. It makes all the realistic noises. So I'm really excited for her to have that. Um, I'm really big on books and puzzles for Tennyson. So she loves the Dr. Seuss books, the little board books. So I went ahead and picked her up the four packs. They come like this. They're really cute. And these are the ones that have in it. So I picked up another set. This is the last set that she doesn't have. So this will be the last time I buy this stuff. But she loves these books. She has a magnet board that we have letters and stuff for. And she's been getting really into learning all her animals and actually picking up on all the noises they make or the sounds they make and learning things about the animals. So I found this Melissa and Doug magnet set with the 20 animals in it, I believe. So she can put them on her magnet board and just kind of play and learn the sounds and learn facts about her animals. And she's been really big into learning her ABCs. She can sing the song fairly well. We're kind of working on it, but she's really good so far. I'll try and see if I can get her to do it on camera one day for you guys, because it's so cute. But I found these popsicle sticks called alpha pops and they go together uppercase lowercase and I believe they're double sided so you can do both um I think it's really cute so I'm gonna have this for her so she can learn her letters she's getting really good at her colors she mixes them up a lot so I went ahead and picked up the colors and shapes uh board like the puzzle so that she can learn her shapes her colors all that stuff a little bit better and since she's obsessed with mini this year, one of the second big gifts I got her, it's not really that big, honestly. She found it in the Amazon catalog. You know, they send it to you right before Christmas time and right before Black Friday, I believe. You get it. And she saw this little mini, which I haven't opened it yet, um, but it's like a mini mouse, stands about the size of the box, and has a puppy that goes with it that has a leash. And when the puppy goes off the leash, Minnie will tell the dog what to do and it'll dance and do tricks and all kinds of stuff and they do things together. So she wanted that. So I went ahead and got that for her and I'm hoping that it turns out really, really cute. Uh, one of the last things that I picked up for her, I love the brand Learning Resources and we pretty much have almost everything from Learning Resources. And one of the, she loves puzzles. So I went ahead and picked up the Puzzle Globe, which I think is really cool because we can start learning stuff about the world. She is so inquisitive. She loves to learn stuff. So I'm really excited to have the globe on hand to just kind of teach her her continents and little things about the continents and different countries and things like that. I know she's only two and a half, but like she really loves to learn. So I like to pick up a lot of learning stuff for her. We had some relatives send us some really cute stuff. Oh, one of the last things I picked up was a little Superman like onesie set. It has a cape. My husband has one and she always steals the cape off of it and she wants one so i picked her up one from amazon as well uh, my family members sent this really cute little rag doll i love the dolls they always send her the cutest dolls like ugh, i love the dolls i sent her and of course i showed you guys this last time the rainbow puzzle that has the alphabet and then the numbers as well okay and i think that's it for tennyson i did get her Jamie's and we're gonna open presents, a present, technically two, on Christmas Eve. We're gonna do a set of jammies and then she gets two new Christmas board books to be able to read that night. So I found this really cute set. It's actually a boys set, but I don't care. The little moose and it's fleece with a little pants. So that's, that'll be the set of jammies she gets to wear to go to bed on Christmas Eve and we'll read the books that she gets. And then Christmas morning, we'll open like all the gifts. We'll have to do a FaceTime with my in-laws because they sent a bunch of stuff. I have no clue what they got her. So I'm really excited to see what she gets because they pick out some of the cutest and sweetest gifts. One of the last things for Tennyson is this really cute tie-dye hoodie. And I believe the brand is To Sleep Bear. I believe it's from Amazon. One of my family members as well sent this. They sent all three of these things, the sweater, the doll, and the puzzle for Tennyson. And I think it's so cute. Um, for my husband, he doesn't know this yet, but the other day I was talking to him and I was like, is there anything that you want for Christmas? Like my friend was asking to try and get him something for Christmas. And I was like, I don't know what he wants. I already purchased what he wants. And as soon as I asked him, he was like, 
the only thing I need is like the stuff to build a streaming computer for my gaming so that I can stream on any platform. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Well, I doubt that she'd want to buy all that stuff for you. Completely knowing that I already picked up everything that he's going to need to build his own streaming computer. I contacted one of his friends and was like, hey, I need help with Trevor's gift this year. He is seriously the hardest person to shop for because he has everything he wants and he doesn't really, he just, he's easy to please. So you can really get him anything, but I went ahead and picked him up um, a keyboard and a mouse combo. It's wireless. And then I couldn't tell you anything about any of this stuff. It's three little pieces. Couldn't tell you what it does, have, have no clue. I just know you need these three pieces. This one is a Canna Kit Raspberry Pi 4 starter kit. That's all I know. Something does that. And then this thing is like a card capture thing. It captures the streaming stuff. I don't really know. And then an HDMI cable converter thing. No clue what I bought him for Christmas, but I know it's everything that he needs to be able to buy or to be able to build that streaming computer that he's been wanting to build, to be able to like stream his Call of Duty. He's in with a group here in Utah. They stream together and they have like all their Facebook stuff and YouTube and all stuff that they stream on too. So I wanted to go ahead and let him have this whole set without having him do it himself. I wanted to get it for him so that he can go ahead and start streaming like the rest of the guys do because he does... Um, stream a little bit, but not as much as the other guys do that he plays with because he doesn't have all this stuff. So I went ahead and picked all this up for him and hopefully he can get it set up himself. If not, I'll have to call his friend and have him come over and set it up for him. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and start wrapping. I just went ahead and picked up just that regular, I don't kind of like shipping paper because <laughs> I wanted it to kind of look like burlap and stuff. So I picked up that and then I also picked up some tags and some jute style ribbon to go ahead and wrap. So I'm gonna go ahead and start wrapping. I won't do like the whole thing on camera cause it'll get repetitive, but I'll go ahead and kind of like time lapse through this and show you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and start by um, stuffing the stockings with the stuff I showed you guys last week. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start wrapping and then that'll probably be the end of this video. I hope that you guys get some motivation for wrapping cause I waited last minute cause that's what I do. And I like to wait till everything gets in so that I know I have it. I'm only missing a couple things for Tennyson, like her coloring books and her Christmas Eve books. So once those come in, I'll have to wrap those as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started because I feel like this is gonna take me maybe an hour to two hours.
When I wrap Nash's presents, I usually try to wrap it kind of lightly and I leave one end open so that he can try and just tear it through it to get it open himself. We'll see how well he does this year because I feel like this one's a little odd shaped for him. But I did want to try and give him a little wrapped present rather than just handing him a present. I was trying to wrap this doll and I was like, maybe if I just make like a little bag for it and I can just kind of insert it because it was such an awkward shape. And then I opened it and it came with a little adorable gift bag. So I just put the doll in it and I'll just put it next to the tree, even though you can see through it. Like that way she can just know what it is and this one's like readily available. But I thought the bag was just so stinking cute. <laughs> All right, y'all, we are coming to the end of this video. I got everything wrapped in about two hours. And some of the stuff was a little awkward to wrap. I feel like, I wish that companies would just like make everything like a unison rectangle or square shaped because it makes it so much easier to wrap and everything just turns out so nice whenever it's like a perfect box shape. But I went ahead and finished wrapping and then I hung up my family. Let me know what you guys do for Christmas. If you have Christmas Eve traditions or specific traditions for your actual Christmas day. This year we're doing a Christmas dinner like usual, but we're gonna be doing a fiesta dinner, which is gonna be like enchiladas and a seven layer dip. I might try to film a little bit of our Christmas just to see what I can get together and maybe get a video out for you guys. If you like this kind of video, please let me know by giving it a big thumbs up, dropping a comment down below, and subscribing if you haven't yet. I really want to grow my YouTube family and I would love to have you a part of it if you're not already subscribed. Thank you again so much for watching and I will catch you guys next week, hopefully. Oh.